Hi guys. So my Chanel pre-order came in. Today we're going to be applying and playing around with all of the new products. I have the quad, the Candeur et Prévocation. I have a blush. It's not a new blush, it's just in the limited edition packaging. I have the multi glow stick and also lip products. We'll swatch everything, we'll apply it to the face, and we'll see what it's all about. So let's go ahead and get started. Hello again, I'm Mo, which is short for Monique. Here on my channel, I review, test out lots of luxury skincare and beauty. If you're into that stuff, consider subscribing. And if you like today's video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I will have everything listed down below in the description box for you. So for face makeup today, I have applied the Water Fresh Tint. And then I went in with my Shiseido Foundation and Shiseido Concealer. And then I went in with the Chanel Le Beige Powder in a darker shade than me just to contour my face a little bit. Went in with the shade 50. So that is all that I have applied so far. So I just wanted to double check and this palette is still currently available on the Chanel website. They released two eye quads. I picked up one. The Candour et Prévocation. Here she is. I'm going to prime my eyes with my Hourglass Veil eyeshadow primer. So while my eyeshadow base sits for a moment, let me go ahead and give you some swatches. So here is what Kendo Epivication swatches like. On the back, this brown shade is classified as Intensify. We're going to go in with that. I'm going to apply that directly in my crease and my outer V. And this is a Chanel number 12 brush. It would only be suiting. <laughs> Make sure I'm close enough for you guys. Mm. This color is applying and building quite nicely. I'm going to go into the shade beside that brown that is classified on the back as medium. And I'm going to be using the same brush. I'm going to be applying that on the outer portion and blending it inward. I'm going back into the brown shade and I'm just going to re-intensify the outer V area. Going into the lightest shade which on the palette is classified as light and I'm going in with the Chanel number no. 8 brush. I'm going to apply that to the rest of my lid and inner corner area. Where the colors meet, I'm just going to pat so that there's a nice soft blend. And I'm going back into my Chanel brush, and no product, I'm just blending. And that was one rather quick eye look. <laughs> Let's do another look on this eye. I'm going to start off with the darker of the two pinky tones. This one is classified as a medium on the back. Going in with that Chanel number 12 brush. I am focusing that in my crease and outer V area. I have a feeling that this particular shade I can see myself wanting to just apply it all over and blend it up and call it a day. <laughs> Chanel number two brush. I'm gonna go into the lighter of the pinks. This one is classified as a medium as well. I mean, looking at them swatched, the variation is very slight, but this one here is a little bit lighter. So I picked up a good amount of the lighter pink. I'm 
And now that I'm applying it to the lid, it's, it's, I feel it's a brighter pink than this one. But I feel that they, once they go on, they're very, very similar. It's almost, you're almost not able to tell that these are two different shadows. What do you think? Or is it just me? <laughs> Same number two, I'm going to go into the lightest shade. I'm using a new lens, guys. Please tell me what you think of it. It was highly recommended by literally everyone <laughs> that films. The only thing about this lens is I can't zoom. So on my other lens, I was able to zoom like super close. I'm working things out, getting used to the new camera. Okay, back to the look. Going in with that lightest shade on the inner portion of my eye. Grabbing a number 12 and just going over everything. This is a Wing Goss number seven. It is a tiny little brush. I'm going to take that, go into the brown. I'm going to apply that to my lower lash line. Back in with the Chanel number two, I'm going to go into the darker of the pink. And on the more pinky eye, I'm going to slightly pass her underneath. Next up, we have the eyeliner. This is smudge proof, waterproof. I have never tried this before, but I've heard really great things about it. So at the bottom, I want to show this to you. I'm sure for those of you who don't know, I just want to show and share this with you. Because at the bottom, you pull it out and you can sharpen this tip here. So look, it's pretty cool. Just the little things, the little details. Let me give you a quick swatch. That is what the color swatch is like. Let's go ahead and apply it to the waterline. And I'm going to smudge it just a little tiny bit onto my actual lower lash line. So here it's applied. Oh my gosh, this lens, you can see all of my imperfections. And you know what? Let's be daring, let's be bold. I'm gonna do a little baby wing with this on my upper lash line. I know, right? So see, this created a really soft wing. I like it. Feels very sophisticated. <laughs> so now that I kind of softened the sharp edge, let's try out this little sharpener thing. Oh my goodness, look. Huh. Okay. Just don't forget to put it back in there because knowing me, I'll forget and I'll lose it. All right. I think the I think the wings match, and if not, that's okay too. Because they're cousins; they're not twin sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see this multi stick. So I've never tried a product like this from Chanel. I have from Tom Ford and Westman Atelier, so I'm pretty familiar with cream product, cream products. <laughs> but let's see what this one is. I want to say described as. I'm just reading from the website. They say that you can apply alone or over makeup where desired to sculpt and highlight the complexion. Oh my god. Let's swatch it here. It's not soup I don't it's not super pigmented. Just swatching it for me personally, I know this is a product that I'm gonna want to use on my no makeup days. Whereas it's very light, it's just a little concealer. 
just a little something going on. But let's try it on the cheeks. So I'm gonna take clean finger, of course. And I already have base makeup on and powder. So let's see how that goes. I love how hydrated and dewy. Refresh. We like. Let's try it with the sponge. I think it's really beautiful, but I think this is going to be a product I'm going to want to use on the lighter makeup days. I think when I have like a more full glam ish look, this is too soft. A product like this will pair so nicely with this highlighter from Westman Atelier. Let's let's do it. This is the highlight stick in the shade. This is the lit up highlight stick in the shade lit. Oh yeah. I really think that these two products will work really well. As you can see, I think they look gorgeous and you're not getting a ton of pigment which is nice because you can keep it soft and controlled and effortless they do say that you can use this product on the lips why not let's try it let's see mm. it feels nice and balmy but i'm not over the moon about it <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this glow on my cheek. Wow. Now I currently have two mascaras that I either use with each other or just rotate. One day I use one, one day I use the other. And one is the Gucci mascara and the other is the Chantecaille mascara. Both are absolutely beautiful and wear so well. Um, I have done a dedicated video to this if you are curious about that mascara, but this one is newer and this one has peptides that help your lashes grow. And the reason I'm sharing that with you is I did not purchase a Chanel mascara. I took full advantage of getting a sample. <laughs> so let's go ahead and try this one out. I have not tried. I have not used a Chanel mascara in a really long time. So this one is supposed to give extreme volume with a 3D printed brush. Let's see what this is all about. So that was the reason I was telling you about those mascaras is because I was justifying that I didn't buy one because I already have ones that are like really good and that I'm using. I'm curious about this brush. Oh my God. Look at this brush. Oh my goodness. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's try it out. Sometimes I don't want to try new mascaras because I really love the ones that I have, but this is such an interesting wand. And oh my. Hello, beautiful lashes. Anyone tried this mascara? I need to know. <laughs> I need to know. Mascaras are really fun. Wow. Let's see how it does on the lower lash line. Because honestly, sometimes that's a make or break for me. I am going to put this with my other mascaras and add it to the rotation. But we'll see how it wears. So we have the balm blush on this side. Let's go in with the Rouge Profound, this cutie pants right here. And I'm going to go in with my Wayne Goss number 14. And let's, let me swatch this. This is shade 320 Rouge Profound. You get the idea. <laughs> Always remember, swatches are just to give you an idea of what to expect. They're not truly realistic because you're not going to apply most of the products like that. 
it's just more so to see what the color will look like on you. All right, so let's let's dabble. Again, this is not a new blush. It's just the packaging. Just the packaging. Ooh. Now, now, obviously, these are two totally different products, <laughs> and these are going to be totally different moods. But here we have something lighter, more glowy, and then here we have your traditional blush, which is very pigmented, and this color is very nice. I just need to even out my highlight portion. I'm going in with my Westman Atelier highlight stick over here, and I'm just using my finger. And the great thing about this highlighter is it goes over your makeup. Like, obviously, I, everything was already set, and it just goes over so nicely. It doesn't make it weird. So this is an ultra intense, ultra matte, long wearing lip color with a fluid texture that fuses with lips for a lightweight feel and comfortable coverage. Presented in the Rouge Allure Ink Signature Packaging with a matte cap and special doe foot applicator for precise, even results. Um, I'm going to be very brave and not line my lips, although Chanel has really wonderful lip liners and I personally love them because they come with that brush for like ultimate precision. But we're going to be bold and we're going to be brave. <laughs> and this is the doe foot in which they are speaking about. Hmm. Ooh, that's a pretty color. It was either this or the red, and I am so happy I went with this because I have, I'm kind of particular with my reds. I have a red from Chanel that I just cannot replace. So I'm glad I went with this color. This color is so pretty. The doe foot definitely allows you to have good control. Now that I have everything applied, let's chat. So I do not mind the flyaway madness in my hair, but let's chat. Let me sit crisscross applesauce. Okay, get comfortable. All right, so here are all of the products that I used. Let me give you a quick little roundup, a little mini review of them. All right, let's start off with this eye quad. Um, it's been a while, honestly, that I have dabbled into Chanel eyeshadows and uh, the makeup as a whole. I, here and there, will have tried things, but it's been a while since the collection really lured me in. This color store is very sophisticated and realistically wearable. You know, you can literally take every single one of these all on their own and just put them all over your lid and blend them in the crease do a little wing liner and that's it you're done or you can get a little more you know intricate and do a little more <laughs> and it would still look absolutely beautiful so the quality performance wise performed well and I think the colors are beautiful realistic and wearable the one critique I have is these two pinkier shades this one and this one the two pinkier shades when applied on the eye you can't even really tell the difference. There may be a hue of a difference, but that's it. So they're very similar. So it's almost like you're getting two of the same. <laughs> and I say that very gently because, you know, swatched, you can even see that they're just a little different, just a little bit. But I mean, that's, if that's my only complaint, I'll take it because this is beautiful. <laughs> now the blush, again, this is not a new blush. It's just the packaging. Here it is swatched. But on the face, I think it looks really pretty. It's a beautiful color and you can definitely build it up. But I went in with a less dense brush, a little more movement in this brush so it's going to diffuse your application quite a bit and make it softer and natural but I think it's a beautiful color and 
It applied really well, yes. So the multi-use glow stick, this beautifulness right here. This is a very realistic product because it's something that you can use on your light makeup days where you just want that glow and it's soft hint of color. It's even swatch, you can see it is very light in pigment but it gives you that beautiful glow and it's multi-purpose so you can just slap it on the cheeks put it on your lips and if you're in that mood have a nice glossy eye why not no one's stopping you but it's a beautiful product the pencil is really nice but i don't own a color like this the pencil's not very creamy so it did tug a little bit but i like that because that tells you that it's going to last on the area the rouge allure ink fusion for a matte type of lip product it's actually quite comfortable and it didn't dry my lips at all and I have to agree with the description on the Chanel site where they were talking about the little applicator I didn't need a lip liner and that was quite impressive and the color is beautiful and it's a very comfortable formula very light you will probably forget that you have it on it's it's one of those so that's a big plus for me and please if any one of you have tried this Mascara, I really want to hear what you guys think about it because that wand, the applicator on it is really interesting. <laughs> but I think it looks nice. I think it looks nice. Yeah. Okay. So those are all of the products that I tried today. I'm quite content, quite happy with my look. This is definitely something that is easy to wear. It's realistic. It's a beautiful collection. And I'm ready for the next fall collection that Chanel has coming out. I've gotten some sneak peeks and oh me oh my, I'm sure you have too. <laughs> Thank you guys for letting me share this with you. Don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.